Hi, it's Anne here from Domesplicity. Just popping in to um, share my bedroom and my bedroom storage with you. As part of my B is for basic um, theme this fortnight and uh, showing you how to organise your life more simply. And I've just come up into the bedroom and put the air conditioning on just so I can have a bit of a cool down. It's just so hot. My husband and I um, went to the shops not so long ago and just picked up a new garden hose and had a bit bit of lunch just a bit of a time away from the kids not that they've been that annoying but they have been that annoying really <laughs> no they're going um, back to school on Tuesday thank goodness but um anyway so I'm here in the bedroom and I just wanted to show you that uh, I've been trying to get here all week actually but just been so busy with back to school organization and just working on the business so um, I just wanted to show you a quick peek into how I have things in my bedroom and how it's nothing fancy but everything works and um, I don't need a lot of fancy things so I'm just wiping my face as I go this is so hot okay so I'll just turn the camera around so this is our um, built-in wardrobe that was here in the house when um, we moved in and what I did last winter was um, a friend of mine, her and her girlfriend created a book called um, How to Create a Capsule Wardrobe um, for the Ordinary Woman, something like that. Um, she got a, a, they wrote a book and I can share that link with you um, if you want to have a look at it. It's only a couple of dollars, but um, it really changed not that I always not that I had a lot of clothes but it just stops me from um, wanting to when you go out shopping whether it's op shopping or you're looking at clothes and you think oh that that's a bargain that's that's only five dollars unless it's uh, working unless it's going to work with what you've got in your wardrobe you're just buying things unnecessarily so <clears throat> I did the same for my summer wardrobe and although I kind of wanted to stick to a similar color story as winter it kind of varied so it's kind of navy and white bottoms and navy and white tops and um blue and white and i tried to sort of stick to this peachy kind of pink color but um anyway so um that's all of the clothes that i have and it might be 20 pieces of clothing but i've probably got about I don't know 250 different combinations just with sticking to that color story so if you want to know how to do a capsule wardrobe it really will change your life so I did have all mismatched coat hangers and then um, the same girlfriend said to me just go and buy a box of those um, 30 flocked hangers from Kmart I was reluctant to but it did um, it did kind of make make the wardrobe look a bit nicer I guess but um, yeah most of my clothes are op shopped or um, things I've just had for years um, some have been given to me from my sister some are new but so that's just all my hanging clothes um, down the bottom there I've I just my husband had an old um, that black black cabinet there that was an old TV cabinet and I've just got that in there for my shoes, some of my shoes. I have got some shoes downstairs. Um, and then other good shoes I keep in the shoe box. You know, a lot of people go out and buy these plastic shoe box so they can see what shoes they've got. Well, I can see exactly what shoes I've got too. You know, the pictures are on the box. So, you know, I just keep the good leather ones in the box. Um, on the side there is one of those hanging things for, you know, um, flip-flops, thongs, whatever you want to call them, and um, runners in there. So um, up the top here, I've just got a couple of handbags. Um, in these boxes here, I just have, you know, cards that people have given me and um, notes and drawings from the kids. I just They just go straight in there. Up the top there is um, some bigger, like beach bags and bigger bags. Um, that's my side of the cupboard, my husband's side's a little less interesting his most of his is high vis stuff and then t-shirts and jeans that sort of thing so um other storage is just 
bedside table with you know a few hand creams and things um all my necklaces i keep on a um this is a coffee mug tree that i picked i think it's actually a handmade one because when i saw it i thought the the wood was quite nice and that was probably only a dollar from the op shop so i've got all my necklaces hanging there and perfumes in that basket this is just another storage box that's actually all the wedding stuff it can go up in the cupboard one of these days i'll put it up there um we are one of those people that have a tv in our bedroom um these cane um drawers that i've got here that's mine and this one's my husband's and i got them for free on free cycle so they didn't cost me anything and they've got um our underwear socks um pjs all that sort of thing this other chest of drawers i've got um makeup that i'm hiding from my daughter it's probably not hidden all too well there and caps um in here is jewelry and my headbands and for the jewelry um earrings and things i've just got ice cube trays um and then my husband's work shorts and board shorts are all in there and just my shorts and some winter jumpers in the bottom and then other winter clothes there aren't many um because our seasons don't differ all that much but i've just got a couple of those plastic tubs for our really big um jumpers so that's basically it um our bedroom nothing nothing too fancy or um outrageous it doesn't have to be um oh, i'm just going to wipe my face again it doesn't have to you don't have to go and buy anything special you just find um you can find all sorts of things in the op shop to uh, for storage uh, think outside the box recycle reuse um yeah and i'll um post the link a little bit later um it's on my computer so i'm just on the phone at the moment but when i get back to my computer i'll post the link for that capsule wardrobe so you can check it out like i said it's only a couple of dollars but gives you step-by-step -step instructions and you'll you won't know yourself you'll get rid of all the clothes that you don't need and it will make you think twice about the things that you see um in the shops whether to buy them or not so hopefully before next wednesday when the fortnight is over i'll be able to show you other areas of the home i'm thinking that once the kids go back um, to school on tuesday i'll have a bit more time on my hands but um, other than that i'll catch you later bye